we're here to demonstrate the performance characteristics of the MTU 12V 2000M96L in a Viking 66 convertible. Today we have Captain Brian Comer who will assist us. My name is Ken Hull from Johnson & Towers. The features of the HV700 display. This is our main page. We have a gear position indication in this display here. When you take it ahead, the arrow will go, it'll illuminate green. When you take it to neutral, it goes dark. And when you go to a stern, it re-illuminates, showing you are in a stern. You have engine RPM. Your throttle set speed, this is the command speed the throttles are requesting, the engine will respond. We have engine oil pressure, coolant temperature, engine load percentage, engine fuel burn in gallons per hour, gear, gear pressure and gear temperature. We also utilize sequential turbocharging, so we will show you which turbo is online at any given RPM or load point, one, two, or three. We have six pages on these displays available, any of which can be used as your home page. We have four different views of the displayed engine data. Again, any one of them to the customer's liking can be displayed as his home page. This is our joystick page. This is the classical gauge display with trip data, which can be reset by pushing a button and be reset by the operator. We also have a measuring point page, which gives you all the parameters of the engine, not only with the description and the actual parameter, but should there be any alarm limits associated with a limit, with a particular parameter, it will display those alarm limits so you have a reference. We have a menu button which will give you the indication of what each button will represent. Once you become accustomed to what the representation of the buttons, you no longer need to press this. This is just for reference only. In the event that an alarm should sound, you, can you will first silence the horn by pressing the horn off button. To display the alarm, you will press the show alarms button and you will have a description of the alarm or alarms. If you want to know what that alarm represents, you will press the question button and you will get a description of that alarm. To acknowledge the alarm, you will then press the enter button. It goes from unacknowledged to acknowledged and should the alarm condition go away, it will then clear and you will be back to a normal status screen showing date and time in the upper right hand corner. We're now going to demonstrate the MTU Blue Vision New Generation control system with joystick. We will first bring the HV700 screen to the joystick page so that we have representation of thruster and engine propulsion line movement, whether it be a head or a stern. And we have our compass here. To take command from the main helm, I will press the C or control button and we will go to maneuver mode. Maneuver mode is then displayed in a bar on the HV700. At this point in time, I have full control of the vessel move the vessel sideways. We start our, we, when we engage our joystick mode, we engage it and we are at engine idle at 600 RPM. And the RPM will rise based on demand up to 930 RPM. When we are in joystick mode, we also are in troll. So you will find that you will have no no banging of the gears or lurches as we take it astern, ahead, smooth transition, or 
where we spin the vessel in 360 degrees. have a station keeping mode by pressing the thruster and control buttons simultaneously for two seconds. We will engage that mode. We will get an, accept, oh, an accepted screen acknowledging that we are going into station hold. At that point, this becomes the position to be held. The MTU joystick GPS feature will then maintain position and heading as long as, it, or as long as it can based on wind and current conditions. The system will not disengage should the currents or windage exceed the capabilities of the system. It will give you an alert indicating that you no longer can maintain position. It will try to hold until the operator takes command at the main helm. As you can see from both displays, we are shifting ahead and astern and using the bow thruster based on the needs to position the vessel where we indicated. Should the need arise to relocate the vessel or reposition, you do not need to disengage from the joystick system. You can just move the joystick and the, and the vessel to a direction that you would like to move to. When you release the stick, this becomes your new position to be held, again, bringing you to the position followed by the heading. All done at idle unless the need for more engine RPM is required to maintain position and heading. We have three modes of operation. We have CRS, which is cruise. Cruise is normal throttle and gear control. We have Smart Cruise, which is SCRS. That is a combination of cruise and troll. We also have Straight Troll, which will slip the clutches while applying engine RPM as we move the lever forward. Captain Brian is first gonna demonstrate tr Troll. He is going to go to the control panel and he's going to press the Troll button, TRL. At that point, we go into a full slip of the transmission to virtually no shaft rotation. As Brian moves the control lever ahead, we start applying more clutch pressure to the, to the clutches and raise engine RPM up to 930 engine RPM. to the, new, the idle position, and we will then demonstrate the smart cruise feature of the combination of troll and cruise. Upon activation, you will note that the gear range selector icon has an SOT diagonal arrow indicating we are in troll. In this mode, the first 40% lever movement is troll, where we increase clutch pressure and engine RPM and as we approach 930 engine RPM, we will transition to full cruise, with that, that is full lockup, and full engine RPM is then capable. As Brian brings the control lever back, we will pass down through 750 RPM and return to troll without a push of a button. We have the same control in reverse. Synchronization is another feature of the Blue Vision New Generation system. To activate the synchronization single lever mode, Captain Brian will put both levers in the ahead position, 
press the sync button, bring the port lever back to the neutral position, and now Brian will have control of both engines on the starboard lever. Brian has control in both the head and the stern modes of both engines. At this point, the port lever can be placed in any position to the captain's liking. To come out of troll or uh, synchronization mode, Brian will then match the two lever positions. He will then press the synchronization button once. It will flash, then we'll go out, and now Brian has individual control from each lever for port and starboard engines. 